Hi peeps, um, I'm just going to quickly show you what I got from Cairo uh, yesterday. Um, I know some of you have uh, already seen the little walk round I did at Cairo. Um, yeah, so as well as obviously selling new things, um, she's an absolute star is Debs because she also sells second hand books. So if you've bought books, read through them and um, you no longer need them, um, she will sell second hand books for you. So she'll buy them from you and then she'll sell them um, at a reduced price or she'll sell them um, and then give you you know a cut of whatever so i got this one cornish fairies by robert hunt it's not a massive one it's just a little that was only two pound fifty so that was a bargain so yeah can't wait to have a flick through that um i got this beauty Farm and Fairy Garden. It's uh, obviously a little swing on a old tree branch. It's got some little toadstools at the bottom. This is um, from Vivid Arts. Um, she said she's got a really good stock of Vivid Arts products and Nemesis Now products. All your Vivid Arts products can actually go out in the garden and they will not break, they will not shatter, they are all frost proof. Um, so this is the Miniature World Plush range. Um, so you've got Miniature World, which are really small, and then you've got Miniature World Plus, which are this size. So she's also got this in the Miniature World size, which is about that big. Um, I actually prefer this size now. I know some of you have seen my little fairy garden outside. I've got a couple of bits out there as well. Um, but yeah, so and at the moment, she's got 25% off um, all the houses and the accessories. So obviously that this is, this should have been 9 99 it were only £7.50, so a bargain. So, but <gasps> the best this purchase yesterday it wasn't the crystal. I got myself some oracle cards. I was actually looking for tarot, um, but there weren't any that sort of like really, really that I were drawn to. And that's the thing when you're getting cards, um, you've got you've got to get the feel for them because you've got to, like with your crystals and anything else that you're going to work with, you've got to get you've got to have that connection with them. Um, I have got a number of oracle card sets already um, and I have only got, I think I've only got two tarot sets, which is why I wanted tarot. Um, unfortunately, um, you can read from oracle. Oracle are more, I'd say more of a guidance. Um, tarot, you, you get a reading, um, if that makes sense. Read, readings can be a guidance as well don't get me wrong but um yeah you know what i mean so these that i want these are the ones that i got yesterday fairy forest uh lucy cavendish um and the artwork is by maxine gad so i've not even opened these yet so mm -hmm. these weren't that expensive either i can't remember how much they were um so let's have a look so inside you get your little book. It's quite a nice book, is this actually? Oh wow. Yeah. It's quite a good yeah. What was that? How many pages? It's hundred and thirty odd pages. Yeah, hundred and thirty odd pages on the back. There is pleasure in the pathless woods. There is rapture on the lonely shore. There is society where none intrudes by the deep sea and music in its roar. I love not man the less, but nature more. Lord Byron. Oh, that's a lovely picture on the back. Oh, oh, wicked. The back of the card. Oh, look, see, I haven't even taken wrapper, 
I'll stick the thingy off. Ooh. Card number one. I'll just see card number one. So let me just see. Is the back of the cards all the same? Yeah, the back of the cards. I love the artwork on the back of the cards. So I'll just show you that. Just let me bring it closer. There you go. It's yeah the same as that little image on the back of the book so it's like a fairy door in a tree little black cat like a little witch here and we've got like a little pixie elf pixie up in the tree oh they're fantastic love that absolutely love that so that's on the back of the cards <laughs> hmm what i might do Actually, I'll just flick through first card. I like this. I like this. Mm. Number one. Red hair and blue eyes. Who could this be? Who could this be, I wonder? With nature all around her. She's got better cheekbones than I have though. <laughs> but look at artwork on that. Isn't that stunning? Isn't that stunning? That's beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, love that. Oh wow. These are absolutely amazing. Wow. Oh, look at that one. This is the ancient. This is the card number. 45 so is the 45 cards I'm, yeah 45 cards yeah the oracle of the wild green world it says the this is number 45 the ancient elder experience and lessons look at that face oh, i love that that's fantastic that's number 45 that's the last card and then obviously you go to your book um, so let's just have a look at number one, Cunning Woman. Let's see what it says for number one. So it gives you guidance on bonding with the cards, the qualities of the deck, the different spreads. Cunning Woman, silent, observant and wily. Hmm, I'm not quite silent, me am I? So I am observant. Now is not the time for talk or action. It is time to be independent, watchful and intelligent. This being holds within her very specific knowledge, the value of silence and watchfulness. Her message to you is to watch and observe what people and beings around you are doing. It is through their actions that you will know them. There is also an element of secrecy. You must keep close to your heart certain information and thoughts at present. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm. It is necessary for you to be very shrewd and careful about the next step, and this is no bad thing. It is wise to conserve your energy at this time, to be silent, to withhold, and to begin to see the patterns around you. You will soon know what to do and exactly when to do it, but now is not the time to share. To offer forth your most tender secrets, or is it time to speak of what you know? It's time to be quiet, to observe, and to allow others to reveal who, who they. This is also the card of one who must listen. Quiet your mind, steady your gaze, resolve to be focused. And then, your innate and clever nature will be able to make sense of what is taking place about you. Be the point of stillness, watchfulness and wisdom. Let everything just drop away. Hide yourself and begin to see the truth as revealed by what is actually happening. Uncoloured by story, imagination and interpretation. Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. So let's just have a flick through. Oh, green man. Just by complete random. So I've pulled, <coughs> the first one was a green woman. I've then gone to the ancient, and then the next one I've pulled is Green Man. Love the artwork on that. That is incredible. 
and what's that saying? Initiative, fertilization and action. Wow. Oh, just look at that. All the ferns around him. And then I just love the way that they've done all those. Because that's how the ferns curl up. Do you know, I took loads of pictures of friends doing that the other week when I were out with Andy and, Be Andy and Becky. I need to get all those pictures put together and posted somewhere. Let's see what it says for the green man. 34. And I'll read what, in fact, let's see what it says for the ancient. <clears throat> Elder experience and lessons. The ancient is so old she is almost beyond time. She is able to speak the truth without compromise, as are you. When this card comes to you, she is so old, has experienced so much, learned and taught so many lessons that she has become powerful and influential, just like you are becoming too. So too are you growing, coming into wisdom. She knows that while others are now going to come to you for advice and guidance, she sees your humanity, your faults and your flaws and your feelings of unworthiness. She wishes to reassure you. Others will come to you seeking knowledge, awaiting a blessing and initiation and oblivious to the consequences of the path they wish to walk. Wisdom, true wisdom, understands complexity <clears throat> and you have developed this quality. The ancient is honourable and human, and yet more than human, she is courageous and has made sacrifices as of you. She sees straight through comfort and illusions as you do. She represents ancient tradition and the challenge of defining the self, yet remaining within a tradition that you value. And this too is one of your challenges. So take responsibility in your life. You will face the battle of choice. And you will be the antidote to gurus and dominant personalities who claim to have all the answers. The ancient recognises the challenge of being a teacher. This immersion in a world to learn the ancient arts and venerate wisdom and old ways can be expressed in many forms. But everything you are now learning has value. She is the rep a repository for ancient secrets and the contact between worlds. She is wise and she has learned to consider every word that falls from her lips even as she longs to call out for freedom. Oh, that's fantastic. Right, the green man. Initiative, fertilisation and action. Not so long ago, all was quiet, dark and cold. But something has changed and it will manifest into your world in significant ways, though you and all around you uh, sorry, through you and all around you. This is a time of renewal. Wow. A time of new beginnings and connections for you. Your energy will be extending itself carefully and you will fall in love with the new world you are creating. This is a time for you to actively pursue what it is you wish to create in your life and to acknowledge the presence of the powerful new energies all about you. Each day will bring these changes and it is as if the life force itself is surging through you and every cell radiates this bright, strong, fierce new energy. To be effective, this energy must be directed, not tamed, but given places to flow into. And thus, you must choose and shape the energies you are experiencing. Nature and its energies shall pour through you when this card comes forth. And it is necessary for you to quickly begin to shape these forces in meaningful ways. This is also a time when you no longer see sharp distinctions between what is outside yourself and what is within. You feel linked, connected and a part of great natural magical whole and this empowers you into brave, open-hearted action. Go forward and thrive, dear one. Isn't that fab? Oh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Next one. I'll just do one more. The Weaver. Fate, Destiny and Weird. And that is weird spelt the old way. W-Y-R-D. Look at that. Wow. Love it. Funky hat, curly hair, wavy hair, plaits, butterflies, dragonflies, feathers. <laughs> that is awesome. Love it. 
Let's see what it says about the weaver. It's also got oh, Freya's also in here as well, so it's not just um yeah. Oh. Awesome, awesome, awesome. What I'll do is I'll I'll spread some out and I'll take some pictures and I'll post them on my Facebook page as well. Mmm. You have in inherited aspects of your family's honour and weird. The actions of your ancestors have had a ripple effect on your life and you have worked through some of this impact and strength and nobility. There may be more work yet to do. You have free will and you also have a destiny and the two dance together and form a pattern that is unique to you. And this is your contribution to the web of weird. Every action has an impact. Every choice will create results that are possible, impossible to see now. So consider the choices before you and choose what is for the highest good of all, what is most honourable and beyond the personal. Ask no person to give up their personal honour to further your own ambition. Consider the impact of your choices into the future and consider the ancestors and what they would feel about your choices. You shall now choose well, for you are weaving the world that was weaving the present moment and weaving the world that shall be. What happens to one of us in our own country, town, family happens to us all. Every act vibrates throughout this universe and on this great energetic web and we are, in every moment, with every word and thought and deed contributing to this great grid of energy. Note, weird is an ancient magical philosophy, in brackets, Weird is also the root of the modern word weird, close brackets, and is both personal and global, and perhaps even beyond that, it is, a galact it is galactic. Every single thing in the world, seen and unseen, is connected and can have influence, one on the other, in an infinite series of variations and patterns. Your choices and actions, your thoughts and words are important. They have impact, they have meaning. And they are part of the creation of the world our children will inherit. Wow. How cool are they? Abs and, you know, mm, as I said, there's always a reason you're drawn to them. So, yeah, so they're my new, uh, my new cards. I will spread some out, as I say, and I'll take some pictures of the uh, the artwork on them. And I'll post them onto me, yeah. Lily B. Fuller Tricks Facebook page, guys. So, yeah, just thought I'd quickly show you those. And, you know, I might start doing some uh, daily card pulls. Um, yeah, I'll have a think about that one. Might start doing that. Um, maybe when I'm sat outside with daily, do a daily card pull. Mm, that could be interesting, couldn't it? All right, just thought I'd share that with you guys. Have a nice day and... Uh, I'll uh, see you soon, probably sat out in the garden, and I'll let you know in a few days what the next live stream is going to be. All right. Mwah. Take care, guys. Bye.